Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. This muzzleloader that I've been toting in the woods, I mentioned that I did not like the glossy stock. However, a while ago I was out there shooting it, it didn't want to pop just real good. So I had to take the lock out, which it's a cap lock obviously. I had to take that out, clean it, it was starting to get rusted up. Uh, I hadn't had the gun very long and it, it probably hadn't been hunted with in a while. Uh, so I was oiling it down. I said, well, while I'm this far, I took the barrel off and I went ahead and just stripped it. So what I'm doing, and uh, we'll do some clips of this because I'm not going to do all of this right now, but I just wanted to let y'all catch up what I'm doing. All the taking this all down to the wood oh you see I've got part of this down and then I'm going to decide then what we're going to do with it so y'all stick around I'm going to uh, some of these videos I'm doing I'm uh, out here working on a couple of different projects and I'm filming bits and pieces of stuff that's going to take me a little while to do so I'll work on something a little while and then I'll let it dry or let it do whatever and then work on something else I don't have a lot of time today uh, to finish this so I'm just going to get it sanded down and I'm going to stop and probably later on this week we'll pick this video back up. So y'all hang with us and uh, let's see what we can do with this old rifle. Now I have got this sanded down pretty much the whole thing. I'm taking a chisel, cleaning up around these things right here. Oh, I didn't want it. They just nailed in there and I didn't want to take them out in fact this one's loose but after i get the barrel and get it pinned i may tack it then but i don't want to hit on it or nothing without the barrel in it but what i'm doing is just cleaning around this some of that that i didn't sand because i didn't want to heavily get on that metal now i did get on it some you can see it's wore a little i'm okay with that i'm not trying to make a custom piece of artwork here I basically wanted to take the shine off that rifle the uh, finish was peeling anyway guys this I don't really I'm not in other words I didn't just ruin a, a brand new rifle now I'm, I'm tempted to do some wood burning here. Uh, I've got my, I had to work on my torch there to get it. I was going to play with it earlier and I couldn't get it to act right, but I finally got it. Finally got it to cooperate with me. It took some convincing it. I had to, I had to tell it who was boss. It got to thinking it was running things around here, I think. Could do like it wanted to. I told it if it didn't want to work at Walmart had a plenty of them and I'd go get a brand new one and I'd fire it. Literally. <laughs> it decided it wanted to work in though. It said it had youngins needed shoes for Christmas and whatnot. It said it showed sure appreciate it if I'd let it stay on work a while, so it's it's cooperating now. Well, that's what you call we had a come to Jesus meeting. But you see this rifle put together from the factory that these parts ain't perfect. I should have probably took that off. But I hated to just keep taking every screw out of it. But I, I will say this. It needs tightening up. But it ain't fit perfect. See, there's a ledge right there. But I don't know exactly yet what I want to do. But hey, when I took this thing apart, man, y'all see all that rust that was up in there? I put some 3-in-1 oil on that. 
it wouldn't when I cocked it you look at look in there if you can see that but it, it wants to work now see it didn't want to work like that earlier needed some oil probably hadn't been old in quite a long time all right let me dig around and see what i got here all right y'all i pulled a good move while ago y'all have been proud of me i was experimenting with this right here torch and i had to work on it to get it to operate it didn't didn't want to cooperate I was testing on burning a piece of wood and I was trying to burn some stripes. You can see kind of how they was turning out. Anyway, well I decided I would test a little right here on my gun stock. So I decided I need to bend what I was doing. I had me a piece of metal I cut. And I was, you know, had it up there heating against the edge on that little stick. When I got over here, I decided I need to bend it, and I grabbed it like that. Stupid me. That tin was hot. And, y'all, it burnt the punk out of my hand. I mean, it feels like I'm holding coals right now. But, show must go on, literally. I did put some, uh, plantain oil I got on there. I'll deuce it back in a little bit, and I've got some aloe vera in the house, so we'll be all right. Fear not, fear not, we're going to be all right. Oh, uh, I had several cans of stain, but y'all, I ain't like none of them. I ain't going to lie. And all of it is stuff that's left over from projects from the house build oh just odd and in different different kind of things oh, i don't know exactly what all we had stained we ain't, we don't stain a lot of stuff but we had stained an island and we had stained a i don't know some boards and something and this is all stuff that my wife had picked out you know Y'all, if her taste in men is as bad as her taste in stains, I'm a poor dude. <laughs> but anyway, we are gonna we're gonna stain this up. What we're using this is some early American, cause I wasn't I wasn't about to go to Lowe's and to buy a can of stain just to run over this rifle stock. I know some of y'all would have done that and stood there 30 minutes trying to pick out the perfect color. That ain't how I roll. We'll put a couple of coats on it though to get it good and good and dark and then I may take the torch and run over it to darken it on up. I don't know. We're gonna see. But we are working with a early American color here. Is what we're doing. I'm gonna just get it on the metal and everything. I ain't even gonna worry about it. I bet on that metal though. You can wipe it right back off. Look at there. Yeah, buddy. I just thought y'all would appreciate good good stain and episode on him some homemaking i can't believe i grabbed that pen. i had my mind though on what i was doing instead of what i was doing <laughs> i had my mind on what i was wanting to do not what i was doing I had an old man tell me one time, he said, if you're going to be dumb, you got to be tough. <laughs> ain't never been true a word spoke through false teeth. It's 
See, it's a good thing the Lord made me tough. Them old mountain men, they'd come right across there telling about who all they could whoop. Man, they'd whoop ten bears and three wolves. And Mama was a boy grizzly and Daddy was a wolf and a coyote. And I don't know what all. Old oh, Dale Gear, he, he, he could string them out there pretty good on Jeremiah Johnson. <laughs> He he thought it might highly of himself. <laughs> Y'all, I like that. That's going to make a pretty stop. What happens when we wipe it back down in there now? Lightens up a good bit, don't it? Ho, ho, ho. Now don't run off on me. Yeah, we'll go back over it with some more. We ain't in no big hurry. Y'all, y'all, y'all got something else you need to do? If you do, you may just have to, have to pause it and come back to us. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. We got a beaver job coming up this week. This is Sunday afternoon. I filmed on a couple of videos today. Bits and pieces. Oh. And got two or three videos ready to go. I mean, this, I don't know how we're going to... I have too much to film and accomplish. I could about make a video every day. If I had really had time. At least... But I hate to put that many videos out. I mean, I, sometimes I shove stuff to the back burner and go, Well, I... I was going to film that, but I feel like sometimes I'm maybe making too many videos. I don't know. Y'all like a lot of videos, or y'all want me to just do like one a week? Now, you know, most of these guys got these big channels. They just do one video a week. Man, they got 50,000 subscribers, 1 million views. And I'm like, here I am trying to put out all this. But I don't do it for the views. I just, I enjoy making videos. I like to sit here and talk to y'all while I'm... Piddling around, that's what we call it. Mm -mm -mm. We're going to run another cut. That's soaking in pretty good. I think I'm going to go ahead. I want it dark, but I don't I don't really know what color I'm going for. I think I'm just, you know, like, rub it on here and surprise me. We'll be like, oh, Gomer Pile. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Most of my fans will know who Gomer Powell is. And that young generation, you talk about Gomer Powell, they lost. They don't even know who he is. Him and Yosemite Sam, all them old good heroes, man. My little boy loves him some Tok Tok, now I know that. He watched McClintock over and over. Now he doesn't, he doesn't forsook old McClintock. We're on Paw Patrol now, but. Lord. We're going to rub this down when we get through with this with some animal fats. Uh, I keep an extra can of that stuff sitting around right here. Right here. See y'all Y'all see in there? I don't know if y'all can see in there or not. That's animal fat. Animal renderings. It takes them about six months to get to that. They, them's a year old. I, that's some stuff I skint in place last year. I done put the lid on that, but I think I need to dip in it one more time. Good Lord. Mm. I don't need to get this. I'm on my pottery making table here, and I hate to. I don't need to get a bunch of... Uh, Hard to think what you're doing when the whole time you think you're holding a hot coal out of fire. I don't know why y'all burnt my hand like that. I don't know how it was your fault, but I'm going to blame you.
I think a height was your fault a little bit. Y'all, that is turning out pretty. I am very, very, very pleased with that part. I really don't need to get it on that rubber part down there, but the good thing is it'll wipe uh, right off of that. Looks like that needed some WD-40 on it anyway. Doing the drying out. That is what, what do y'all call that? About three coats? I mean, I've just been sitting here rubbing back and forth over it. I don't know exactly how many coats I put on there. But y'all, that, that's, I like that. I think we're going to stop right there. Oh, y'all see me like to pull it out. Y'all, I found this chisel right here in the middle of the road today. On the way to church, I seen something. I slammed on the brakes. I went to backing it up. Wife went to screaming and hollering, don't stop the road. We're going to get run right over. I'm like, there's a chisel laying in the road. I thought it was a pocket knife or like a fixed blade knife. Where you call? It. We used to call them a scalbert knife because they went in a scalbert. Now people don't even know what a scalbert is. It's a holster. But anyway. I thought that's what it was. I pulled, stopped in the middle of the road and walked around over there and pick it up. And that's a Walmart chisel. I it's got a plastic handle. It was roughed all up. I put it on the belt sander out there, smoothed it out, slicked it up. Probably let that dry tonight. And then in the morning, we can put that back together. What y'all say? I like that idea. That's what we're going to do. So we'll see y'all in the morning. I'm going to go put some aloe vera on this hand. I think I'm going to rub this on it though one more again. I burn it pretty good. Probably about fifth or sixth degree burn, wouldn't you? <laughs> it probably is the best. It hurt. Oh well. Now I need to wipe this off this finger so I can touch the camera. I guess I used my sock. That's my barrel cleaning material. I think I got some more though in there I can bring out here and donate to the cause. Alright. Enough. We'll see y'all in the morning. Alright y'all. We back this morning. Looks like our stock is pretty well. I'm going to just kind of give it a light rubbing over. Looks like it dried though fairly well. It ain't just a little, little tacky like. And y'all, my hand, I don't know if you can see in this light or not. There's one little spot there, a strip right across there, and then tips right here has got a bubble. But I figured that'd be a big old festered up bubble because it burnt it good, y'all. And I've been burnt before. I know what, oh, I just, that hurt. And, uh, that plantain oil is good stuff now. I, I'm going to tell you, and I did put some aloe vera on it. I'm sure the both of it together helped, but I put that plantain oil on there, and, it's, and it felt like for a while last night after I went in, like I was holding a coal out of a fire. So, make you some plantain salve oil. The, the salve is basically oil that when I got it warm, I put beeswax in it to give it some, keep it from being so messy, because that oil, it just runs everywhere the salve it'll kind of stay in place and y'all we fixing to get some rain looks like which is very welcome to us here in mississippi right now my swamp i can't even canoe in it this done got so low they done tore out all my beaver dams and there ain't no uh how's that gonna look together y'all gonna be a good looking gun I like it. I like it. I do like it. I do need to, uh, we're going to give it a good oiling before I put it back together. But y'all can see where that barrel was in there. It's discolored there a little bit. But 
Oh, let me move my coffee here. I'm finna let y'all hit me put it back together. Y'all didn't get to watch me tear apart, so let's see. Both of these rags, I smell something to see what I had on it. I thought one of them I had something, something else on, but this ain't nothing but some animal fat. I told y'all a little earlier, I think, which that was last night to me, so y'all cut me some slack. Me and Mr. Brody's been up this morning checking deer cameras. We got one old doe and a little one coming into our place back here where we put a feeder up. Brody likes to go down there and see if they've been to the eating his corn. We hadn't even been down there and sit in the stand. And tonight we got the Christmas parade. So we're going to take Brody to see see if Santa Claus is going to be a riding that fire truck tonight. And y'all, I just the, the oil gets down to the bottom of this, and I had never heated that up and really just rendered it. I may do that next time I get a fire going. I'm gonna oil the inside of this cavity. I'm going to oil the inside of where this barrel goes because y'all know that I'm going to be a toting this in the water and then everything else. I don't know when I'm going to release another video. I'm thinking about adding to it on shooting that gun. Y'all, I shot that little short gun. Steel didn't get it on, but I went to a thicker patch and that helped, so... I, ain't, I don't think I'm going to release the second part of that video till I figure on. I'm going to shoot it off camera some and get it more dialed in and then come back because apparently it's going to take me a while. I enjoy shooting it, but i got too many videos to keep making the same videos over and over on that. we got way too much stuff we need to be videoing. Now that's putting a shine on that stock that I really don't agree with. Y'all, I don't, I don't really like a shiny rifle stock. All right, let's put her back together here. I think I am going to try to oil these screws and stuff up as I put them in. I had all that trigger set. It was, it was sketchy. Y'all, it, it had, it had been in there a while. Now, I will say this. This gun had been took better care of than the other ones that I've got. Well, now, really, the... It and that, that middle one, it had some rust on the barrels and stuff right here. But now it had been took pretty good care of. That other one, it looked the best when I got it, but man, the inside the barrel now, rough. The problem is, is unless you completely disassemble a, a muzzle loader, and I mean the inside all of this, they ain't no, you, you have to do that to clean one. I doesn't. I done learnt that. Done done learnt that. I probably need to take my flintlock completely apart. I have not shot it a lot, but I have probably put fifty rounds to it. Which for a flintlock is probably a good bit. Mm 
and this is the breech support the locking I don't know what you technically call this because most of them are made on there this one is so that the barrel can be readily just popped out y'all know about how all that works I know you do I know you know and it screws into this trigger assembly so you have to put the trigger on first before it will go on that is rain y'all here Okay, this, this holds the ramrod down, it's a small spring for it. You have to hold it in there lined up and then push that through and then push it down. Oh, me, me, me. I like to do a bunch of carrying on. I can't help it. It just comes natural, y'all. I don't. Somebody commented on one of my old videos. He said, I hope this is act, you ignorant redneck or whatever. Said, no, buddy, it's no act. <laughs> I'm really that ignorant. <laughs> I didn't care if he didn't think it was different, did he? His, his approval was not required. <laughs> <laughs> Might order back that old hammer there. Well, well, there. Talk there for a second. I didn't have something a, a G haul right. Boy, that looks good, don't it? It's a little light right in there. We may touch it up a, a later. And that is a mite tight, in my opinion. We're gonna slide the ramrod down in there where you can get a good look at finished product. Yeah. That's it. All right. There it is. There she be. Looks totally different now. What do y'all think, huh? Put your hands up. <laughs> oh, I know. Don't point. Don't be pointing guns at you, at you buddies there. Ain't, ain't you. All right. But I like it. it does have some good color and grain and all to it. I am happy, happy, happy. All right. Thank y'all for watching my video. We got the old rifle fixed, put back together. We'll see y'all next time on Spirit of the Outdoors.